Okay, now here's a quick video to go through some actual exponential functions and how we calculate exponential functions. So we're going to try to solve this equation, this top one here, which is, let me, let me look at it. I need to make it bigger. 2 to the 6x plus 3 equals 4. So we're going to say 2 to the 6x plus 3 equals 4. Well, that's pretty straightforward if we take the right-hand side and break it down as a power of 2. So we're going to say 2 to the 6x plus 3 equals 2 to the 2. Now that we have it set up with both bases being the same, we can simply set the exponents equal to each other. 6x plus 3 equals 2. So now we know 6x equals negative 1x equals negative 1 sixth, and that is this answer here. Okay, let's look at the next one. We're going to solve this one is looking at 9 equals 9 equals 3 to the 7 q minus 7. 3 to the 7 q minus 7. Again, let's take our 9 and put it as a power of 3. So we know that 9 is 3 squared. That equals 3 to the 7 q minus 7. And then we can say, since we have the same base, we can just compare and, and, and create an equivalence between the powers. So 2 equals 7 q minus 7. Um, add 7 to each side, you get 9 equals 7 q. And now you get 9 sevenths is our value of q, which is here. Okay, let's look at this next one. 5 to the 7, I can't see that, it's too small for me. 5 to the 7 minus 6n equals 25. 5 to the 7 minus 6n equals 25. All right, well, we're going to make the 25 a power of 5, that's 5 squared. And now we have 5, 7 minus 6n. And so we can set the exponents equal to each other. Equals 2. And then we add, we subtract 7 from each side. You got minus 6n equals negative 5. N equals 5, 6. Oh, did I do the math wrong? Negative, is there a 5, 6 answer? Yes, right here. Perfect. Okay, and last but not least, we'll look at this one. Let me zoom on it so I can see it. This is going to be 16 equals 4 to the 5 minus 4x. 16 equals 4 to the 5 minus 4x. And I think you get the hang of it now. We set 16 equal to 4 squared. And now we have 4 to the 5 minus 4x, which we can set the exponents equal to each other. So 2 equals 5 minus 4x. Uh, 5 minus, uh, 2 minus 5 is negative 3 equals negative 4x. And x is going to equal, divide each side by negative 4, and you get 3 fourths. And we are done.